there are two apps that you can use to meet foreign people in your area. Um, the first one I recommend you guys is called Internations. And Internations is a community um, consisting of uh, primarily uh, foreign people who are living in different countries. And um, once you join up the community, you do have access to the app as well. And uh, they have a free tier and then they have a paid tier as well. The, the paid tier gives you discounts to events that they host. So let's say if I click on tomorrow, I can see that they have an event uh, and I can select and join it. Now, sometimes the events are free. So in this case, it looks like the event is free, but uh, sometimes they do have uh, paid events as well. And uh, um, you can always join in. Um, they do have uh, ability to find people near, near your area as well. So you can uh, click on explore members and then uh, you can do a, a search based on uh, the age group that they're they're in um, gender as well so if, if you have a preference to meet more guys then you can select if you want to meet girls uh, that's there as well and then um, there's also the location where they're born so you can select all those options and the, the last one is uh, where exactly they're based right now so in case they're based in Toronto uh, then I can find people who are uh, in the Toronto area and then you can add them as well um, the other option is messages so you can always send them a message and uh, have a conversation they also have uh, groups so you can uh, select group option and um, let's say you're looking for a specific uh, category uh, let's say dining and nightlife because you want to enjoy drinks so you can select that um, or if you want a like to learn a different language you can join the languages group as well and then let's say uh, you will be able to ha see what uh, groups are available in your area so in this case it's saying in nationalities and languages there are two groups uh, one is for French and then other one is for Spanish um, yeah do check this app out now the one thing I noticed is that the forum option is not available on the app, so you'll have to go on the website, which is internations.org, to access it. The other app that I would recommend to you guys is called uh, Meetup. So let's open that up. And Meetup allows you to find events near you. Um, let's open that up from here. And uh, as soon as you, like, once you join in and log in, you will be able to see events happening near your area. And in your case, what you'll have to do is um, you'll have to look for groups that are primarily focused towards international people. Now, in a city like London, it might be very easy to just join up any group and find international people. But if you're based in, um, like, let's say, uh, some specific Chinese city, it might have a lot more local people who have been born there and have been living there all their life. Um, and then you'll just have to search for groups, let's say, uh, international uh, friends. And then you will be able to see uh, groups w which will primarily have more international people. So let's say international friends, uh, Japanese, Canadian neighbors, um, if you if you have a specific language interest you can do that as well and you will be able to find more foreign people now this app is very useful um, as well and these are the two apps that i would recommend to you guys uh, thank you for watching this video and i hope you guys find it useful